What's up, beloveds? Look at Shaw. <laughs> Shaw here. Another glorious day out here at the pond. <sighs> so I fed my turtle babies, of course. It's my first time doing that. Um, sliced up some strawberries. I figure they may like some fruit. <laughs> I was uh, up since like 04 darkness. I beat my beat my birds up, and they finally started chirping and whatnot. Which definitely let me know that it's time to go ahead and get started on the day. You got it. You got it. Uh, so yeah, I um, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be open unto you. They so cute. They still there. Um, that was today's thought and meditation and time and um and I was up you know speaking to um, a gentleman that I I work with with uh when it comes to trading and cryptocurrency and things of this nature and we were in a great conversation and uh, my mind really works with processes you know the questions that I ask when it comes to left brain items, I'm very like, I need to see the process in my head, the flow, to understand. Um, so we entered into a great conversation and he was patient and he understood and I was very appreciative for his time, attention, and my inquiries. And throughout the conversation I noticed it was like, you know, one thing that my economist mentor taught me was trust and, and ver but verify, right? Trust but verify. And I noticed sometimes in the past where I would end up in a pickle is that when, when sources give me that information, when I have that intuition and something is telling me to, you know, dig down more, I almost wouldn't because I didn't want to offend the other person. Um, and as I continue to work on my my chakras, especially my third chakra, me being an air sign, my voice, that creativity, a lot of the arts, you know, that expression of word that's naturally aligned with me. And um, I have to say shout out to Veneer. Uh, one of my, one of my, she's an intuitive life coach and she works with entrepreneurs, she works with uh, leaders and stuff and taking care of the unmanifested aspects of ourselves. let's say that. Um, and so one of the things was my throat chakra was blocked, which makes sense because where I was working at, we really, you know, when it comes to really voicing ourselves, even though there's supposed to be protective measures for things like reprisal and stuff like that, the fact of the matter is humans are humans, right? So for some years, I really wasn't expressing myself through the arts uh, in a communicative form um or writing and stuff and when i operate in that space of like inspired creation it like amazing things are birthed out so that was one of the things she really pointed out to me was the sacral chakra and the throat chakra so those were things i was working on open it up and so now fast forward to this conversation access you shall receive seeking you shall find knocking it shall be answered so it was like no honor myself my agreements, ask these questions, put myself first. It's not so much about whether I hurt the feelings or not, that's never my attention, but I need to honor myself. And it is totally okay, right? Um, so it's coming from a space of honor, it's coming from a space of love, it's coming from a space of respect, self-respect, of the higher self in that alignment, right? And it's very imperative because I can advocate and stuff for my troops, I can advocate and stuff for you know my clients and things of that nature. Um, let's make sure I'm still doing this stuff for self. So this is where the work happens first, right? And so it was a very loving experience. Um, 
he was very open and sharing. He's like, yes, I did it, you know, stuff like that. And he's like, wow, like, you really seem like a, a wonderful lady. You know, he really wants me to know me more. Um, beyond just, just business, he was really intrigued by my beingness. And that's the type of relationships that I'm seeking. That's what I am. It's kind of like the Care Bear stare, right? That's what I'm projecting, mindfully projecting that when I'm working and partnering with these people, you know, God, this is the type of relationship that I want to have. Not just some transactional, not just money at the end, but the, the interior part of it. The, the, the heart-centered space, you know, that I am attracting and having these type of partnerships, relationships, friendships, ship, ships, any of the ships, right? <laughs> so, how you doing, hon? So, um, that was really important, and as quickly as things, um, as quickly as I would say I'm responded to, it's like things are happening in less than 24 hours. Um, so I'm very happy with what I am uh, experiencing, and it's like the more, the more I ask, the more the response happens to me, so the more I receive, and the more openness that's happening, the more encouraging it is to continue working. Um, in this space so I'm really excited um, I just wanted to share that you know just give gratitude about that um, and to keep to keep going to keep going and sometimes we may get a nice high flying uh, perk and stuff and then you know kind of you know like you know the, the ups and downs right the peaks and valleys and stuff so it's, it's always good, like for me and my experience, just to continue, continue on, even if sometimes it shifts down, right? Um, just keep that eye focused. All right, let's regroup, recenter, refocus, replenish, and keep it going, you know? So that's just something that I wanted to share in this wonderful space. And I hope that you all, you know, continue to have a great Memorial weekend. My birthday is Tuesday. <laughs> Let's just put that out there. My birthday is Tuesday, you know. Um, so I look forward to having a great time. I want to actually go over to the beach, uh, probably Sullivan Island. It's one of the more quiet islands. Um, but I'm still trying to determine if I want to do like a sunrise meditation or a moon meditation. So. I need to make that time to actually look at the, what the weather is going to be, revisit my moon cycles and stuff, and um, yeah, make that determination. So I'm going to get ready to head out. I'll be meeting some clients to go look at some new home construction today, and uh, then get back to my creativity and stuff. So may you all have a blessed and wonderful day. Peace.